Ever since I moved back to my parents' house for the summer, I have been extremely bored with everything that I do. So to combat boredom, I decided to start reading again because I didn't do it for like seven years. Whoops. I stacked up all the books so you can see my intellectualism and know that I'm better than you. So as I've said, I've been reading quite a lot more than I have probably my entire life up to this point. So when I'm deciding what book to read, I look up like hype on like new books that are good apparently, and then I look at the reviews because I don't want to waste my money. This has resulted in me reading more reviews than Mikola is making. YouTube inside jokes! And not all reviews are good. And I'm not talking about in terms of the book or movie or whatever they are reviewing. I'm talking about the reviews themselves just suck. I feel like we should have a review system for the reviews so that you can just look and see like a little plate card in front of the review and it's like, this review is bad, don't. So here are four types of reviews that make my blood boil. The overly negative for no reason review. This book was so bad that I literally can't finish it. I'm vomiting on my keyboard as I t I'm literally, literally so hard right now. Yeah, I get that you didn't like the book or the movie or whatever it is, but tell me why. That's why I came to the review. Be more constructive with your feedback, please. You're not adding anything helpful to my decision making and you're not making me decide whether or not I want to buy the book. You're just making me wish that you would step in a puddle with your socks on. But this can go two ways. The second type of review is the overly positive for no reason. The book was great. It's the best book I've ever read in my life. Um, chapter one was brilliant. Chapter two was superb. Chapter three was just amazing on a stick. Um, the writer was awesome at the writing part. She she did a good job there. Again, you're not adding anything helpful and you're not making me decide whether or not I want to go forward with my purchase. You're just kind of making yourself look a little naive. However, it's great that you choose to channel this all into positive energy. So good job. Just keep smiling. The next one is the super self-referential reviews. Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes really reflects on his, his early work. Um, he took the prose is obviously it is a direct um, mirroring of the fourth book in the Dark Tower series and it's it kind of meshes together all of his best work. It's great that you are very clearly a fan of this particular author or director of this movie or whatever it is that you know, I just went way too high up in the frame. That's everyone's guy. I'm not this tall. What if this is the first Stephen King book that I've ever picked up? How am I supposed to know how it is? I don't want to read an author's entire collective works just to get your review. And finally, the reviews that just completely negate themselves. The intro was amazing. The author placed herself in the mind of this character and she very clearly Not in a way that didn't leave you with any twists and turns this book was truly the definition of art however in the third chapter there were about four pages it lagged a little bit so one out of five stars do not buy now that i've spent the past two minutes just being overly negative about everything let me tell you what i look for in a review just try to remember that everybody is different just give a very clear list of what you think is good and what you think is bad don't try to force your opinion on anyone and don't like condemn them to hell for liking a book that you hate i just realized my fan's been on this entire video so the audio is all probably messed up i'm kind of liking this new lighting with the blue and the red, it's like contrast. Oh man, that's true, the blue's on the red and the red's on the... That was completely not intentional. I am an artist. So that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And write your review for this video in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later this week.